It's gonna douse this thing in COP. Yeah, you don't have a rag to clean it. Hey, you don't have a rag to wipe it off. Hey, 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 hey. hey. they're gonna use your sweater. Shut, Shut up, you, 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 you naysayer. We have your sweater. This is the COP right here. The one I gave you. You want that COP? Sooner or later, you gotta cut you down. Go tell that long tongue liar. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Churio Martinez. I had to reshoot um, this video because last one I was kind of drunk. So let's start off with some questions. Obviously, that's why you guys watch my videos. Quarter deck and the pit. The quarter deck is the place where it's located. I'm usually in the front of the squad bay. Of this, in the squad bay is the barracks, the place where you stay at, and um, it's usually located in the front. And that's the place where you get hazed and IT'd and um, yeah, you get just individually trained or intensely trained or whatever it stands for. The pit could also be the same thing, but like uh, when you're outside, when you're not in the barracks and then you do some stupid and they need to like, you know, haze you or whatever, they'll take you to the pit and yeah, take care of business. How much color do they actually pay for it? And what are some things to look for in your contract? Asked by Jordan Beck. Um, what do they ask for? What do they offer? A post 9-11 and the Montgomery GI Bill. The post 9-11 and the Montgomery are two different ones. I don't know exactly how different they are, but I just know that the post 9-11 is um, better in a way. What should you look for in your contract? You should look for how long your contract is. If you were given any bonuses, make sure that it says it on the paper. Your MOS, make sure you go, you know what MOS you're getting. Oh, do not go open contract. Because going open contract, you're playing, you're playing Russian roulette with your career. So look for that, your MOS, how long your contract is. If you were promised any promotions or any bonuses, make sure that it says that on there, your contract. Um, just make sure like when the recruiter gives you your contract don't sign it on the spot ask if you can take it home and if you can look over it or if you or your parents or anyone else could look over it with you so that way you don't do it on the spot and then uh, then you fuck yourself over like that Zach Roberts enlisted man's opinion of Mustang officer <laughs> I'm kind of I'm getting sick so that's why I sound a little weird um, Zach I think Mustang officers are the shit because they are the ones that went from enlisted to becoming an officer. They had the initiative to go through college, go through OCS, and become an officer. And I think that they have a better outlook on life in the Marine Corps because I think they're well suited to make decisions that they are needed to make. Because they are in charge of Marines, usually a platoon or or a, or a company, and they're in charge of them. So, since they're enlisted, they already know what it's like to be enlisted and to be under under a command like that. That's why I give them a lot of respect because they took the initiative to become an officer. It's not easy. I know it's not easy, but that's why I have a lot of respect for them. Joel, Erwin, Leon. Better to enlist and then become an officer or get commissioned right off the bat. Ah, son of a bitch! Fuck, I forgot to turn the sound on. The microphone wasn't on. Fucking kidding me. Ah. Uh, better enlist and then become an officer or get commissioned right off the bat? Like I answered Sack's question. Um, it's better to go through the process and actually know what it's like to be an enlisted person and then become an officer but it's all about personal choice and what you want to do and what you think is easier for you and what best fits your life how's the pay in the marines uh the pay is all right it's not bad but it's all right um like i said it depends on your rank when you're married it depends on where you're located so i just want to apologize for um putting my number on Facebook it wasn't the best thing to do um, I, I got pretty hammered and the sad part is is that I got hammered 
kind of by myself and with my sister and with my mom and dad, which is just dumb and kind of sad. But um, I have to read something. Uh, oh, a quick shout out to Timothy Squid Patrick because uh, he actually told his recruiter about my channel and now his recruiter kind of tells recruits or soon to be recruits to go check out this channel and I really appreciate it man also there was a staff sergeant on YouTube that um, couldn't find the staff sergeant or what I think it was a sergeant or something like that but uh, <clears throat> he helped me answer some kids question on on YouTube and I just wanted to give him a shout out and say thank you for for helping me out if there's any um, any uh, retired marine or any kind of marine watching this video and you see some like people asking questions feel free to uh, to answer uh, answer them and I will be more than happy to give you a shout out if I just have to remember to actually save the message and stuff so I know who you are and because I really appreciate it um, I really appreciate when uh, Marines are helping out pulleys new guys that want to join the Marine Corps so yeah about me putting my phone number up here yeah it was not the best thing to do so some uh, some guy who's 6'2 <laughs> he weighs 228 pounds and he's three pounds away from his weight limit um, he asked me a question uh, and he texted me and um, I was pretty drunk the conversation was pretty crazy and um, he asked me thanks what's the hardest battalion in boot and I wrote I don't know Penis Battalion. <laughs> Penis Battalion. Like, <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even know like why I said that. I don't even remember saying that until I looked at it and I started cracking up. I don't really usually like say anything about negative comments on my YouTube because I feel like the more I show that it bothers me, the more power I'm giving to them like they're like yeah he's fucking mad good job yeah but this guy his name is Mike from AG he wrote this guy is gay he must really be Navy as a former Marine of 22 years I'd say this girl doesn't represent what you need to listen to she is soft and no Marine and no Marine I have I've ever have known I get negative comments like that all the time on YouTube and the thing I, I want to say to all you haters or all of you motherfuckers that have nothing better to do in their fucking life is that fuck it I'm still gonna be making videos I'm always I'm gonna try to make videos as much as possible just to piss those guys off why because I can and this is America I can say whatever the fuck I want I do the only reason why I'm making these videos is not because of any other fucking selfish reasons except for that I like helping you guys out and also I get a little bit of money from Google Adsense that's like not enough to even like for me to live off of I like doing this because when I was in your guys' position I wish that someone like me would have come up to me and told me everything that I needed to know so I would have had a better and brighter future in the Marine Corps that way I would not have spent all my money I would not have um, I would have saved more money on my TSP uh, gotten ready for college done actual college while enlisted uh, someone who will, would actually motivate me and to do the right choices while I was in the Marine Corps um, Timothy Squid Patrick asked me about gun loss and stuff like that and I don't really like talking about it but Gun laws, why fuck with them? Just leave them alone. Everyone, if someone wants to have a gun, then so be it. That's just my opinion. I mean, <laughs> why would you want to restrict people from having guns? That's, it's their choice if they want to have one. Like, if you are a bad guy and you want to fucking shoot up a school or shoot up so, uh, a place, you're not going to go like, oh, I'm going to legally go, I'm going to go buy this gun and fill out the paperwork and pay all this fucking money for that and then uh, and then go and shoot the school and hopefully it won't be traced <laughs> no if a bad guy wants to get a fucking a gun a gun like that they won't get it if they want like a high high powered automatic 
illegal rifle, they won't obviously go to the store to get it. They will go somewhere else, like somewhere sketchy, and buy it from a guy that sells those illegal things. It's that fucking simple. There's nothing... There's no point of fucking with that. Gay people, just let them get married. There's nothing wrong with that. People bitch about it, like, oh, no, so... Uh, dude, if... <laughs> You're asshole. You guys are assholes. Just because no one loves you, and because you don't have a girlfriend or whatever, and you're not gonna get married anytime soon, doesn't mean you shouldn't let other people get married. Let them butt fuck each other. I don't fucking care. They're gay, whatever. You can have your own life and stuff. You can get married because it doesn't change anything. It doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. So, um, at least. McKinley, I think her name is. Um, I'm helping her for the Boston bombings. Um, there's a link. There's gonna be a link on the bottom, and uh, you guys can help her out. And uh, it, it, I haven't checked out the website, but I think it's about to help like families and people that were affected in the Boston bombings. Make sure you guys check that link out. She's a good friend of mine. I've known her since even before she joined the Marine Corps. So it's pretty cool. That's it. Make sure to tell me which video you liked, whether it's the first one or the last one. Tell me which video you thought it was funny. Um, keep writing your comments. Make sure to check out my Facebook fan page and uh, push questions there because obviously it works. See, I answer them. Um, if you guys have any more questions, comments, or anything, bitches, moans, or complaints, make sure to hit up on my Facebook fan page. A shout out to my admins who. Um, Pretty much help me run the page. And that's it. Alright, well, make sure you guys subscribe and check out my other videos. Hi, YouTube! Taking care of Open the ears in the ocean.